Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here. So, there has been some speculation among the uh, Fear the Walking Dead fan base about the character of Madison and whether or not her death in the mid-season finale of season 4 is completely... just... It, it, she's dead no matter what. You know, there's no way to um, bring her back. There's there's no way to, to do what they did with Daniel Salazar, um, which is pretty funny because Dan what happened with Daniel Salazar was pretty similar. I mean, he was in a building surrounded by fire, and we didn't actually see him die, and then we went the rest of the season without seeing him again, and that's pretty much what happened with Madison. Um, although, the, we're supposed to, I think we're supposed to assume that Madison did die, um, as opposed to Daniel Salazar, where the writers straight up said that, oh, he's dead. With Mad or uh, no, <laughs> they said he's he's alive. The writers straight up said he's alive. Like they said that I believe the Talking Dead, after that episode where he was supposedly burned up in the fire, like they, the writers just flat out said that Daniel Salazar survived and would return, as opposed to Madison, where they said that she's dead. Kim Dickens said that she's dead on Twitter. Um, we're supposed to assume that Madison's dead, and, and it, the way with how, with how dramatic it was, with the music and the, the impact it had on Alicia, and even Nick to an extent, even though um, Nick didn't really live very long after her, but, but just with how dramatic it was and how serious it was, it, even though she did not technically die in front of the camera, it really did seem like she died, in my opinion. The way it was filmed, it really did seem like we were supposed to interpret that as her dying. The very last second we, we see her, she's just got this this look on her face. Um, this very painful, um, sort of sad but resigned, resigned to her fate expression on her face. You, you can just see this, this bright glow in front of her. And I think the camera... It fades out before we see anything actually happen to her, but but we're supposed to we're supposed to view that as as she definitely died. Um, and I and I think that it, like like I said, it it would be kind of dishonest because of how dramatic it was done to bring her back. I think it it would be kind of dishonest to to do what they did with her character. And what happened to Alicia, Nick, M Morgan, the way it impacted everyone, the way it, the way it impacted the story, with the way it was the big event of the mid-season finale, that after, you know, finally putting all the pieces together, we find, we find out that Madison is not missing, but she's dead. You know, she's not captured, but she's dead. Um, to just bring her back alive after all that, all that dramatic stuff, that, that'd be kind of... Um, kind of a kind of cheap I think um and I, I might get hate for saying that um I'm not completely opposed to bringing bringing her back um if they brought her back to the show if if they revealed that no she she found a way out at the last second I mean that's been done before it, it happened with Daniel Salazar like I said it happened with Kenny in the video games Kenny was in a similar situation where he was trapped in a building and he was surrounded by walkers and we, we, we don't quite see him get killed, but it's supposed to, we're supposed to think he got killed. Then he came back. Um, so it's, it's definitely happened before. And I think with Kenny, at the time, they did plan on killing him off. But like at the last second, they made it ambiguous so that if they got a sequel, they would bring him back. And that's what they did. So, yeah, they could do that with Madison. They, they definitely could. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm not saying that... It's impossible for for Madison to have found some little um, crack in the in the wall or something or, or some, just something some way for her to survive that and get out and escape um, because her death was the subject of a lot of controversy. A lot of people were unhappy with her death. I think that was that was a lot of people's least favorite part about the the whole season. Nick's death was, um, it was met with controversy, but you can't blame the writers because the actor wanted out. 
he had wanted out since season three. Kim Dickens, from from what I could tell, she did not want out. She wanted to stay on the show. I think they could have just killed Nick and kept Madison alive, and um, you know had her have her and Morgan sort of be maybe the two major characters of the show. Maybe there's not a single main character, but Morgan and Madison sort of share the the the, the, the forefront. They share the 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 largest amount of spotlight, as opposed to just killing Madison and having Morgan be the 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 the, the, def the definitive main character, which he pretty much turned out to be. When you really think about it, I mean, he got a lot of screen time. He became the leader. The last two episodes were all about him, and I'm not complaining because I love Morgan. But um, I mean, I understand where the fans are coming from when they say that that Madison should not have been killed off. Um, and I, I I don't hate her really. Um, I didn't hate the character to the point to where I would have been against her staying alive and her, like I said, her and Morgan sharing um, the the forefront. Um, one thing. I, I will say is um, I'm not sure how I feel about um, um, Nick's death and and what what Madison would do after dealing with that or how would you know what 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 is a what is a post Nick death Madison going to look like you know sure she still has Alicia I mean she's a strong willed person she's probably not gonna commit suicide or hang herself because she still has her daughter you know that was sort of a part of the story in season two where Alicia felt like Madison cared about Nick more than her and Madison was like no Nick was just always the one that was always in danger and you were actually okay um so I mean yeah that would have been interesting to see to see Madison actually deal with that to deal with Nick being dead and now all she has is the the child that wasn't constantly in danger and that's kind of a, a, a it's kind of a fucked up story but it was if they're going to keep Madison alive they would have probably had to go in that direction because Nick wanting to leave you know um Nick was not the writer's decision that was the actor's decision but Madison was the writer's decision they decided to kill her off so having having Nick be dead and having Madison outlive Nick which she never did remember um, having Madison outlive Nick, and it just being Madison and Alicia as the two remaining Clarks, you know, that would have been interesting. Um, it, it did seem like so much of Madison's character was just her determination to protect Nick, her determination to keep Nick alive. And, th th I mean, that was what she spent a lot of her time on the show doing, was was dealing with Nick. She had a lot of scenes with Nick. Um, her and Nick's rela relationship was one of the, the biggest parts of the first three years. Um, Alicia really, when you think about it, when I think about it, she has yet to have had a big role on the show. Um, I mean, she's always been there, uh, God knows she's eye candy, but she's never really had too much of a role. She's always sort of been a supporting role where I, I feel like with Madison and Nick, they, they really were important and their relationship was important. So having Nick be dead and, and Madison be dealing with that, you know, I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about that because it just seemed like it was so much of a character, but maybe it would have been a good thing to have, to have Madison be alive without Nick and, and to see what, what would that do to her? She's already this, this really hard, this really hardcore survivor she's this really hardened woman and now she's going to be even more hardened because her son is dead she's done some some pretty crazy shit to protect her kids and now one of her kids is dead not only that but the the kid that she spent so much time trying to keep alive is dead not the other one the one you know um I, yeah i would have liked to have seen her, her her deal with that i would have liked to have seen kim dickens betray um, um, Madison with with Nick being dead, I, I think that would have been interesting. I mean, just just imagine she was all, she was already so ice cold, and that was a part of her character. I'm not criticizing her really. Like she she always sort of had that that coldness to her because she wanted to keep her kids alive, and she she believed that that was a part of it. You know, being cold. You know, you know. Um, and then Nick's dead. 
she's not going to be less cold, she's going to be more cold. Um, yeah, that would have been interesting. Um, maybe they could have killed her off in season 5, season 6. I don't know, but at this point, I think it's probably a done deal. I don't think they're they're going to miraculously bring her back. I mean, they could... I mean, I'm the crazy guy that still wants Troy to come back, so I guess I guess it's it's only fair for me to want Madison back too because her surviving um, that scenario was more is more likely than Troy surviving what happened to him. <laughs> so I can't really want Troy to come back without wanting Madison to come back. Uh, um, and you know, yeah, it could happen. It could happen. And season five, yeah, she she could come back. It's possible because I think I think it was just ambiguous enough that you could somehow come up with an explanation. Now, would it be best for the story? I don't know. I think I think Madison's death was a big part of of season four. Um, the way the characters had to move on, particularly Alicia and ha the way they had to deal with that bringing Madison back in season five it would just make all that a lie you know it, um and, and that's I kind of have an issue with that I do feel bad for Kim Dickens I do feel like she got screwed over um she 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 had some some pretty bad writers that she had to deal with occasionally <laughs> some some pretty some pretty rough writing some in some of the episodes uh, some of uh, a lot of season two was just a joke in my opinion, <laughs> um, I feel bad for her. I feel like she she kind of got screwed over, and it wasn't her fault. And she did the best she could. Um, she she had to to play this character that was kind of a cyborg, really was kind of a cyborg. Um, she even admits it. Her character admits it in season three. That that's a part of her character. Um, and then the actress gets criticized because she's acting like kind of a cyborg. <laughs> Believe it or not, she was doing a good job. <laughs> um, but, yeah, she could come back in Season 5. She could. But, like I said, I, I, I feel like that would be kind of... It would kind of be shitting on a lot of, uh, of uh, what Alicia has already gone through, what Alicia has already suffered. Um, I think, you know, Madison's death was the main... That was like the main event that really um, tra traumatized Alicia and Strand. Yeah, I mean Alicia and Strand really because Strand had a really close relationship with her. They were drinking buddies. They had a lot of scenes together. Madison was really the only character that that Strand had a a good relationship with, and they spent a lot of scenes talking to each other in all three of the first seasons, even in se season four a little bit with all the flashbacks. They continued to have a close relationship. So Madison's death affected Strand almost almost as much as it affected Alicia and Nick. And then of course Nick's dead, so it's really just Alicia and Strand. But a lot of Alicia and Strand's character development in season four is because of the aftermath. So bringing her back in season five, it just kind of, I don't know, kind of shits on that a little bit. Um, and I know some fans are probably okay with that. I don't blame you. A Troy got beaten to death with a hammer, and I would be okay with him coming back. I get it. <laughs> you just want the character to come back because you disagree with the death, you know. Um, but story-wise, I don't know. I don't know where it would fit. I, I think that I think that season five of Fear the Walking Dead will bring back a familiar character that will make fans happy that almost died in a fire. But it, their name starts with the letter D, <laughs> and ends with the with the letter Daniel Salazar. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I I think I think that's gonna be the big part of season five. I think Fear the Walking Dead season five is going to do something to to get fans excited again and to bring back some of bring back some of the old fans that were, that left um, and make people that lost interest interested again. But it's not gonna be Madison. It's going to be Daniel Salazar. I think Madison is permanently dead. Um, but I, I I wouldn't give up hope if you're a Madison Clark fan. If, if you're one of those people that really liked her character and just want her to come back. Because um, I think of, out of all the, 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 the dead characters, 
she still is one of the the easier ones to uh, undo because she didn't get bitten she didn't get a death on screen we didn't see her get torn apart by walkers we didn't see her get burned to death um, so yeah if, if they wanted to desperately enough if they if they were determined enough to do it they could do it they could bring her back they could find a way they could have a flashback where she finds a hole to, to crawl through at the last second or something happens um, that, that allows her to escape right when she's a moment from certain doom and then have a flashback in season 5 showing that blah 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 um, it could happen um, I, like I said don't give up hope if, if people want Madison Clark brought back um, and they're out there I, I, every Fear the Walking Dead video I see when I, when I scroll down through the comments I see at least five comments about bring Madison back bring Madison back bring Madison back is Madison really dead it's always something like that um, so they have a voice I mean it's, it's, it's not it's not a small group of people it's it's a large group of people that want Madison Clark back from the dead returning in season five and um, you know keep 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 I, I say keep um, keep fighting um, keep um, you know, keep, uh, uh, you know, keep fighting that battle. Keep, keep, keep screaming and saying, we want Madison Clark back because you never know. You never know. Um, there's a show called 24 and there was a very likable character that, that got killed and, and people, myself included, um, my 12 year old self, we spent two years on the internet going, bring back that character, bring back that character. And then they brought him back. So, um, just because it doesn't happen instantly doesn't mean that you should stop um, asking for it. Um, but personally, I don't know. I think, I think as far as the story goes, it does it doesn't necessarily fit. Um, but if if the, if they got desperate enough, if they got desperate enough to please fans, if the ratings got low enough, yeah, they could bring Madison Clark back. I absolutely think that's possible. I don't know if it's if it's if it's likely. Or, um, or probable, but I think it's possible. I, I think there's a small chance, and like I said, I don't know how good for the story that would be, but uh, um, I mean, who knows? Who knows? Uh, I, I wouldn't say give up on hope, um, because I, I get it. I mean, she was a big, big part of the first three seasons' DNA. Really, the first four seasons, the first three and a half, whatever. You know, the DNA of the show. She was, she was a very important character. And what the way her story was and the, and the way her story arc was going, it was not building up for her to get killed in the middle of season four. That decision quite obviously was made in season four. I can tell you right now, there were no plans to kill off Madison um, in season four when they were writing season two. The writers were not thinking... Oh, in season four, we're going to kill Madison off. That'll be a big shocker. No, they were probably planning to keep her alive for like 10 years or whatever. Uh, same thing with Nick. They've already said that they plan on keeping Nick alive for like ever. <laughs> um, but the actor wanted to leave. But with Madison, I don't think that decision was made until season four. When you watch the first three seasons, her, her story really does have a, a slow burn you really do feel that she's going to live for a very long time and that her story arc is is, is something that's that's slowly slowly building up and and then in season four it just gets it just kind of gets cut off um so i understand i understand that the fan outrage um i understand the fans wanting her to come back and i do think it's possible anyway um i have ranted way too much <laughs> i am so sorry about all this uh, um I mean, I guess it's kind of a complicated topic, but, um, yeah. Anyway, what do you guys think? Do you think there is any chance that Madison will come back on Fear the Walking Dead? Um, do you think, do you think it's a done deal? Do you think they'll bring her back if ratings get low enough? Do you think they'll never bring her back? Just let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't be shy. Hit that like and subscribe. I'm not going anywhere. I make one to two Walking Dead videos per day, so please hit that subscribe button. Right now we are at 152 subscribers. I would really like to try to get to 200 in the next few weeks. And part of the reason I'm saying that is because we we are getting The Walking Dead Season 9 premiere this Sunday. Um, and I'm going to make a few videos about that. I'm going to make a few, a few more videos 
about it before it premieres and then of course abs absolutely after it premieres I'm, I'm definitely going to review it um i don't know if i'm going to do a live reaction i think i kind of just gave up on those um but yeah i'm going to be de i'm definitely going to be covering a lot of the walking dead season nine the first episode every episode i'm, I'm covering the shit out of every little thing um, you know, every trailer, er, everything I can get my hands on, it's spoiler free. Um, I mean, I do spoilers once the episodes come out, you know, I'm going to like do reviews and stuff, but I, we, we don't do spoiler spoilers on this channel. Like we don't do spoilers that, that get, um, released ahead of time that AMC doesn't want out, you know, stuff like that. Uh, we don't, we don't cover that on this channel or I don't, um, right now I'm a, I'm a single person. A single human being that's running this channel, but you know, you know what I mean. We don't do spoilers here. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but because The Walking Dead season nine is about to pr premiere, um, I'm hoping that with the videos that I make about it, that cover everything, that cover everything, there might be a spike in views and 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 um, you know, just overall the audience. I think there's going to be a spike. So. I do believe that it's possible that we can get to 200 subscribers in the next few weeks. So please, if you're interested, if you have not already, hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber counts. Um, I, I started off with zero, and I'm now at 152. And those were 152 individual people that made the choice to hit that subscribe button. So like I said, everyone counts. <laughs> um, anyway, I am done ranting for this one video. So with all of that said, I am Spencer Rhodes, and I will see you guys later. Bye.